Clint, when you really look at what an orgasm does in a man's heart, it actually literally provides the feeling of false intimacy and and false connection, but it it's it's a it's a genuine draw to a guy who feels lonely, disconnected, in pain. So that makes a lot of sense, and there's so much commonality, you know, with the addictive. I would and... be fascinated, Clint, after you read the first couple chapters of Battle on Battle Over. I would be fascinated to have another conversation with you because I'd like to see how you would compare your alcoholism with this addiction. And I'll bet you there's a ton of non-sexual triggers when it comes to alcoholism as well. There are. It's a challenge I would always have. And if I didn't win the game on the field, I needed to win the game after the game. Getting hammered or watching porn, you don't feel the loser mentality until it wears off and you're right back where you started from, but worse. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's That was really good, Clint. And that is the basis of the, the non-sexual trigger. You're looking for a win. You had the loss in the day. Now you're looking for a win. Something to make you feel good about yourself. And I really do feel like that's the, that's the concept behind it. And I didn't figure I would talk about it for very long before you knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, I just- This, was, this is crazy.